Oh god, it's over. Oh god, I have to start talking. Oh god. I didn't know that song had, like, an ending note. Usually video game soundtracks just loop, but that one actually has, like, a part that ends. This is really unrelated, but I always really like, uh... The Arctic Monkeys AM, which I know all the, like, real Arctic Monkeys fans hate that album, apparently. But... I really love it, and I love that every song ends. Actually, I think there's like one or two that have a fade out. But at least the majority of them just end. Like they just, they have a note where the song just stops, and I kind of hate fade outs, so I dig that. Uh, anyway, we got some cool art here from Antisocial. Wink! Uh, they didn't, the winky face wasn't in their uh, submission title, but... There it is there, so I'm going to read it out, but thank you, Antisocial. This is great, and this is referencing, of course, the one cutscene that I always mention, because it's like a lore-relevant re cutscene that uh, where, where you see the Lost talking to Mom, as though the voice of God, showing that the entire thing is cyclical, like Pink Floyd's The Wall. I need to snort... Uh, sorry, actually, I'm going back in for another... I, th I thought I was ready, and I wasn't. Okay. Uh, so... Thank you, Antisocial. We're gonna play Isaac Daly today. I actually haven't even checked who the character is in Daly, so there's a possibility that it is the Lost. And you know what I just realized? Yesterday was Sunday, and it was a Mega Satan run. And somebody said that Mega Satan was always on Sundays. Step post on Sundays. Isaac. Yeah, yeah, we've heard this before. <clears throat> we've heard this all before. Uh, okay. It's Kane. Alright. He's so happy. So, today I'm gonna... And even if we lose the daily, I'm gonna do it another run. Uh, I, I need to clear my throat again, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to... Somebody last stream commented, Hey, what does proc mean? It would be nice if you explain these things. And dedicated to that one random commenter, I thought it would be kind of fun to do... You remember when I did, like, the Beginner's Guide Isaac stream where I, like, explained things to, to people who have no clue what's going on with the game? Raise your hand if you have no clue what's going on in Binding of Isaac, like, half the time, at least. I'm willing to bet, like, a lot of you and I don't blame you, because it's a very complicated game. Uh, <clears throat> so, I'm just gonna... I, I don't know, I'm not gonna explain, like, absolutely everything, but I'm just gonna, like, talk a lot, I think. I play the game, and I still don't understand. So, okay, here we are. It's like Legend of Zelda. It's a twin-stick shooter. <laughs> Starting with the real basics. Uh, you move with one stick, you fire with the other. I like to fire with- I like to use controller. I like to fire with the buttons. A, B, X, Y. Uh, cause you can't fire in angles. <clears throat> and what we got is, there's my health. There's my coins, bombs, and keys. Uh, this is a daily run and that's telling me what ending I'm going to, so I'm gonna be fighting Satan today. And, uh, this is all my stats. And, I guess, you know what? Let's go down them. Let's go down them, because I've never actually really distinctly said what they all are. Speed is the little boot. Tears, and that's just the movement speed. Tears is the, those that little group of arrows, and that's how many shots come out like per second, or something like that. Not really, but it's it's your uh, fire rate. The sword is your damage, 420 Lamau. Uh, the arrow, the bow and arrow is your range, which is how far your shots travel. The here, just moving is shot speed. That's how fast they move. It's a pretty useless stat, but it can have effects on things. Yeah, my score is gonna suck. Uh, and this is the ch percent chance that at the end of each floor, which the game is structured in floors, currently on the very first floor, uh, if you'll get a special room at the end from uh, either Satan or Jesus. That's right, they put Jesus in the game. Okay, so those rock guys don't actually damage me. You just have to, like, <clears throat> not get pushed into stuff by them. And they die when the rest of the enemies in the room die. Uh, we got poops here. You can break them with your tears. Rocks cannot be broken with your tears. Poops sometimes contain things. Uh, fires are a lot like poops, except they damage you. 
This is the Sharp Straw. It's uh, pretty wacky. This will also be a good quiz for uh, how well I know these items. Actually, hold on. If I wait to use this, <clears throat> I'm waiting for it to recharge because it slowly charges up over time. This is what we call an active item. Damn. That just damages all the enemies in the room uh, for a certain amount, and I think if you kill enemies with them, or I think it's just if you use it at all, it has a chance to give you red hearts. Half red hearts. Hey, there you go. And I'm going to do it again because there's so many, there's a, such a huge number of enemies in the room that I, I don't know if that actually makes it happen more. No, probably not. It, it seemed like the heart came out of me rather than the enemies, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really don't know what's up with my throat lately. And someone like someone was like, oh, has he tried drinking water? Yes, I've tried drinking water. Thank you. Thanks. Been streaming a few years now. I, I picked up on that little trick. Sorry if I get a little pissy at that. It just reminds me of when my, like, elementary school teacher told me to stop sniffing in class. And I was like... Okay, I'll just let snot pour out of my nose, then. <laughs> oh, that... So this is a trinket. I currently have a trinket. That's this little paperclip thing down here. <clears throat> but, uh... This is a trinket that gives you bone hearts. I think it's every floor, but I'm not sure. Like, every time you go down a floor, I actually don't remember. I haven't had this trinket very much. Uh, so... That, by the way, uh... So we've got a certain... It's like Zelda, we got heart containers. I only started out with two as this character. Every character has their own set number of starting heart containers. This is a soul heart that can go... You can pick that up even if you don't have a heart container for it. It'll just sit there on the end. Uh, they're very useful, but they're... They're so useful that I want to hang on to it for now. I, I don't want to lose it when I have other red hearts lying around that I can pick up if I take damage. For whatever reason. There's no reason I would ever take damage, though. Uh, okay. Then we're going to check for a secret room here. Uh, okay. So, <clears throat> let me get this right. Each floor has a secret room... Two secret rooms. A secret room and a super secret room. Actually, technically they have three, but we'll get to that later. We might not even get to that today. There's a third... There's a third level to, to all this. Uh, but the rule with secret rooms, and I... There might... I've never been... I've never, like, read up on this. This is just what I've picked up over time playing the game. Uh, if you... Look at the map. Can you guys see my mouse? You can. So these sort of spots where they're adjacent to three rooms are where the secret room is more likely to appear. So right here and right here. They can't be next to a boss room, otherwise this would also be a potential spot. But if you look at the walls, the secret room door is always right in the center of the wall. So if you look at all the walls, that one's clear. If there's anything blocking the way, if there was any sort of obstacle here, like right here, this rock right here makes it confirmed that uh, there is no secret room right here on the map because a door couldn't spawn there because it's blocked off. Which means it's very likely that the normal secret room is right here. And there you go. And there is a golden bomb. Okay, a little tutorial on bomb pickups. That's one bomb. This is a BOGO bombs. This is very poggers. And uh, this is a golden bomb. They're quite rare. But uh, this makes it so I have infinite bombs for the floor. So I am just going to blow up a bunch of stuff. If you blow up those shopkeepers, uh, they drop money very often. Especially if they have coins in their eyes, it's more likely for them to drop something. And sometimes they can even spawn the greed mini-boss, or... Uh... <clears throat> give you, like, a pedestal item, which is very good. So, the reason I'm blowing up these rocks, and this is... I'm, you know, we're gonna cut the bit here. This is a bit of a joke on this channel. Uh... There is a chance... Hey, there's the super secret room. There's a chance underneath every rock, or pot, or skull, any sort of, like, hard obstacle. Uh, not poops or fires, though. <clears throat> there is a chance for there to be a trapdoor underneath with a room full of goodies. Okay, these are pills. Pills do a random thing every single run. So, that's why it just says question marks down there. 
uh, and it, it it's not even the sort of thing where it's like, okay, well, the blue, the, the, the tur turquoise and blue pill, let's use it now. Oh, that's not always going to be an I can see forever pill. It's going to be a different thing next run. Uh, I can see forever makes it so that you can get to all the secret rooms, but we already got to both of them. Both of the normal ones. Okay, that one was just a stat up. You can see the range thing. By the way, when you start up the game, this little uh, HUD won't actually be here. Uh, you want to go into options and turn on extra HUD. Or no, wait. Found HUD. And uh, I, I, I don't see any reason to have it off, honestly. Some people think it's like ugly. I kind of get that. Uh, that was just a fart that poisons enemies that are near me, and it, as you can see, it pushes items around the room. It's basically a joke pill. That one slows everything down for the room and is very useful for bosses. Very, very useful for difficult bosses. <clears throat> Only works for one room, though. So... I'm gonna keep blowing up these rocks just to see if we get a crawl space. Uh, but <clears throat> pretty unlikely. Uh, and as you can see, the devil and angel chance for this floor is zero and zero. Uh, that will change next floor, where I believe we will get a 100% guaranteed devil chance. That's just how it works. That's just the rule. And uh, at that point, I will need to start avoiding taking red heart damage uh, from enemies specifically, because that will make it so that my devil chance gets reduced. Which you don't want. Is this a bit? It's not a bit. I'm, I, I, I want to extend the olive branch to people who don't, uh, who are just totally lost during these streams. Lost? Get it? <clears throat> Hold on, are there rocks in here? Yes, there are. Guaranteed crawl space. See, if I had gotten a crawl space there, I would have taken that opportunity to, like, gaslight the fuck out of everyone. Everyone who doesn't, like, know Isaac's stuff. So what, what, what other choice would you have? You just have to believe me. Speed up, okay. I was kind of hoping that that would be some kind of, like, offensive pill, but there's also a risk to using pills in a room with active enemies. Because, uh... It can, like, paralyze you, or make your shots bad, or take away some of your health. Pills can really be quite a gamble. They can even reduce your stats, that's the worst one. Like, permanently. Ow. Okay, see, so if I had taken the soul heart into this room, I would have, uh... I would have already lost it to this guy. And I might lose more health, and I might even die, that would be kind of embarrassing. Oh, Sharp Straw is here, by the way. But since I left that heart out there, and since I have Sharp Straw, now I can get this item and the soul heart and be sitting pretty. Okay, this one, let me just test my memory here. This is like, is this the tier size up one? I actually forget. Tier size and range up. That's awesome. It doesn't actually increase my damage. Normally damage is what makes your tiers big. But uh, this one, this is one of the ones that makes your tiers just straight up bigger. Okay. Okay, now we're on to the second floor. Uh, it has a chance, you may have noticed the first one, I think was it Burning Basement, and then this one was Cellar. These are all alternate versions of the floors. Normally the first two floors are just Basement 1 and 2, but as you play the game and unlock things, uh, you'll unlock these new alternate versions of the floors. As you can see, this Bone Heart Trinket, when I went down a floor, it gave me an empty Bone Heart, which means that was the most condescending voice ever. An empty Bone Heart. And I might lose it right now. Jesus, that was stressful. I was really hoping for a half heart there. Uh, oh, nice. So, perfect example. The uh, the bone heart is like a heart container that is fragile, and the container itself takes up a uh, <laughs> the container itself takes up a hit. Uh, so technically, with a heart inside it, as you can do there, you can fill it with a red heart. Uh, It'll take a total of three hits, and you can't put spirit hearts or black hearts into there. And black hearts are, uh, of course, an alternate version of spirit hearts that does 40 damage or whatever when you t get hit to every enemy in the room, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm not going to explain like the tactics for all these enemies. You just kind of have to like fight them and learn, but 
they all have very simple patterns usually, but uh, the rooms can be quite mean, as we saw there. So it's kind of likely that this is a uh, secret room right here, but note this rock. This is what we call a tinty. You may have heard me talk about these. This is also a bomb rock. It'll explode when I bomb it, which is whatever. The bomb would have hit this tinty anyway. Tinted rocks have a, a random pool of things they can give you, but it's usually pretty good. It usually has like soul hearts or a key or a bomb or something, and it can even give you a cool pedestal item. But as long as I'm bombing it, I wouldn't want to bomb it from here. I would want to bomb it from here so that I can also check for a secret room here at the same time. You want to be efficient with your bombs. There was not a secret room there, but I got a bomb back, and I'm actually, I'm not going to pick up that soul heart because I can do things with this funny bone heart. Uh, Oh, that is a fucking bean, and it is a terrible item. Uh, it, you remember the bad gas pill? This is just one of those, but it's reusable. It's not great. You can use it one time per room. It doesn't even... I don't think it even slowly recharges. It might. They might have, like, buffed it or something. Oh, look, another tinty. They, uh... On the early floors, they're, like, tinted a different color that's pretty easy to spot. But, uh, the defining feature is the little X on them. In later floors, it'll be harder to spot them. Always look for the little X. And it can be really subtle and really hard to spot, so... Okay, just stand your ground there. Ah. Oh yeah, and note that with the Bone Heart, I did not lose Devil Chance. I think... Chat, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but... All three hits of the Bone Heart don't actually remove your Devil Chance, which is really, really nice. It makes them really useful. There's a specific character where losing the container removes Devil Chance, but uh, we are not playing as that character. Thankfully, we're playing a pretty simple character to uh, to do this with. I'm glad. Uh, so... Bop, 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 bop. So... This is, this is kind of, we're going to get to a bit of an advanced strat here, and this might not even, like, work out properly. But this item is on sale. This is a shop. Here's the shopkeeper. He's a lovely man. Uh, this item, since it's red, the number is red, that means it's on sale, which means the price is halved. And they round up, <laughs> sadly. But, uh, so I have 15 cents, and I want, I kind of want both of these items, Really, I want this item, because this item will let me steal other shop items. So, I mean, it would be ideal if the coupon was seven cents and this wasn't, but uh, that's not the world we live in. And I kind of want to just do this to show off what the coupon does, because we're not even going to use this uh, thing. Oh, wow. It was a random chance to, like, get that, by the way, and I instantly got it. I was kind of expecting to have to, like, do a few rooms. <laughs> but now we can get a free trinky from this. Oh my god, it's an amazing trinky. It's like my favorite Trinky. Uh, damn, are we keeping the box? No, I want to keep the coupon for now. Uh, this trinket will make it so... I don't even know when it spawns them, but every once in a while I will spawn a little poop friend uh, that will help me out, and the poop friends are actually really good. That's like seriously one of my favorite trinkets. The Dingleberry. Yeah, there he is. That's maybe when you clear a room. Uh, all right. Everyone good? Any questions? Do you guys have any questions? Are there any questions? Anyone unclear on what's going on? And remember, kids, there are no stupid questions. I should have picked up that half heart to fill my bone heart, whatever. Okay. Oh, we got lots of soul hearts lying around. <clears throat> question. You suck! Uh, that's not a question. Can I use the wash room? What's the room with the red circle? Oh yeah, we'll go do that right now. We will go- we will go do that right now, class. With the frizz? No way. Who's Joe? Ramiel from Evangelion asked that question. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go and we're gonna check out these- couple of rooms here. Uh, I haven't really... Like, let's look at the map again. So, there are certain icons on the map that connotate what room it is. The crown is a treasure room. This is the boss room. Big skull. Little skull is a mini-boss room. 
the coin, the, the big coin thing is a shop. Uh, this is a curse room, this is a boss challenge room, which I'll get to. It's boss... I forget the exact name for them. And this is a sacrifice room. Uh, we're gonna take a peek in there, they got this like bloody cool door. Bloody door. Uh, so these spikes, we're not gonna do it right now, but basically if you hit these... It's pretty complicated overall, but uh, if you hit these spikes and lose, it takes away one full heart instead of just half a heart, as most attacks do at the beginning of the game. Uh, it has a chance to give you a reward, and the rewards kind of get better over time. Uh, it, on a general curve. So I'm gonna go in here. This door hurts to use, and also I lost my charge for my item, which is not that big a deal. I probably wasn't gonna full charge it by the end. Uh, that door hurts you for half a heart. I'm gonna be using this red heart that was in the bone heart to do this. Uh, killing those enemies also has a chance. It's just like clearing a normal room. Clearing any room has a chance to drop a reward in the middle. That's a nickel, five cents. Uh, this was a very good curse room because curse rooms can have anything in them. Sometimes they have absolutely nothing of use. Uh, this is just a free damage up, damage and speed up. Oh, and it gives me a black heart. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, <clears throat> so now this door will remain locked unless I'm at one heart of health total. And that could be one red heart, it could be half a red heart and half a soul heart. I don't know how bone hearts play into it, but or, or rotten hearts, which we haven't got to yet. Uh, I'm not actually going to go in there because I don't want to just hurt myself a bunch of times and lose all this precious health, but uh, that's worth noting the existence of. Oh, I'm going to go up and grab this half a red heart. Beautiful. A lot of people play the game a, a lot faster than this, by the way. This is not typical Isaac gameplay speed. Uh, I tend to go slow and try to like comb through the floor and get absolutely everything I can, because uh, that's very satisfying to me. I really wish I could take both of these trinkets. There are some items that let you hold two trinkets, but normally you can only hold one. Uh, this box also, not only does it spawn trinkets, but it doubles the effect of them, and it gives you plus one luck, I guess, which is really good, but I am going to keep the coupon because I think the coupon is better. There's honestly some... All of these pedestal items are decent. But, uh... Oh, and we're going to check for the secret room. Super secret, I neglected to mention. Okay, so... Super secret can only be attached to one wall. And it can't be attached to, like, the boss room, but it's usually as far away from the starting room as possible. So, yep, we're going to walk back through the floor. <laughs> I forget where the starting room was. I think it was this room. Yeah. Something like that. No. Starting room usually has nothing in it. I think this was the starting room. So it's usually the one that is the most... It'll be the most possible spaces away from the starting room. And it'll be in a place where it's only connected by one wall. And it's unobstructed. So my guess is that it is right here. We'll go check that. I think, I think it's just about guaranteed to be there. Because this is an unobstructed spot. As you can see, this room, this would be a viable spot if this one rock wasn't here. So, yeah, they are typically close to the boss room, but sometimes they can be in different spots. Because the boss room also tries to place itself nearer, uh, or further away from you. So here we are, this is a fortune-telling machine. I'm not actually going to use it. But you can put a coin into it and it has a random chance to give you a bullshit fortune that does absolutely nothing for you. Or it can, uh, it's just a bit of funny text on the screen. Or it can give you soul hearts, or cards, or trinkets. They're, they're pretty cool if you have a lot of money. Uh, this is the Duke of Flies. This is considered one of the more difficult bosses of the game. Uh, he f slowly floats around the room and spawns flies uh, that are very easy to kill. But don't let that fool you. Behind that goofy grin is a demented mind with a passion for killing. Okay, I managed to squeak by. Uh, this is a pretty cool item. I think... I always get this and the other new eye boss item that they added uh, mixed up. I think this one is like damage up, but only for your right eye. Damage and range up. Yeah. Damage and range up, but you can see those certain tears are coming out of my right eye. And also, this is really weird, I actually talked about this last stream, Kane specifically, since he has an eye patch, it looks like he doesn't right now, but uh, he does, just trust me. And 
he has a weird mechanic where he can only shoot tears out of his right eye. So, but then for whatever reason, and this doesn't really make much sense, when you get an item that restricts it to one eye as Kane, it's like a 50-50 chance to shoot those types of tears. So basically now I just got random damage up shots. Uh, and so I'm going to do what's called being a good boy. And I'm going to ignore Satan, because you can go into the Devil Room, and Satan will have a bunch of cool items for you, maybe bad items, uh, but he has like a specific like devilish pool of items, and they cost heart containers to take, and I could probably take some and be fine, but instead I'm going to ignore Satan, and that's going to make it so that I get increased Angel Room chance on the next floor. Angel Rooms are better than Devil Rooms, basically, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Uh, so, I'm just gonna go. We're gonna hop on down to the next floor. I think I got everything I need. If the coupon was fully charged, I would be thinking differently because you can use the coupon to steal stuff from Satan. But I do not have coupon charge. Uh, these are one of the worst enemies in the game. I hate them. They're annoying and obnoxious. Okay, I'm glad it's dead. This is not something that will make sense to beginners, but Bella and I had a TM Trainer uh, item run off stream that made it so that like every enemy we killed turned into one of those like asshole enemies, but the ones with homing shots, and it was a nightmare. <laughs> it was just one of those well instantly ruined the run type things. I think it was a uh, it was a corrupted data item, which I've been seeing a lot of lately. We've seen like three of those, or I have, in the past like week. Okay, this is uh, different from a boss challenge room or like super challenge room or whatever. The one that makes you be at one heart. This one you have to be at full health. Uh, so I have more than full health. So I can readily go in here. It's marked by the little blue sword. Rather than the red bloody sword. This can have a random thing in it. Uh, it costs a key to get into. Okay, we got our money back for the key. And now it's going to spawn three waves of little basic enemies for me to fight. And each time I defeat a wave, it'll give me charge for my active item as though I cleared a room, which is nice. Look at this little red poop doing damage. Oh my god, what a champion. Legend. Yeah, and all the little poop friends do different things, but honestly, I don't even know what they do. Like, that's a relatively new trinket. I don't really know the difference. Although it doesn't really matter that I got charged for my active item here. And in fact, if I was a truly wise man, I would have waited. Until I found the shop to do that. Misplay. Inting. Intentionally throwing. A common tactic among top Isaac players. For comedy. Uh, mushrooms are just like rocks. Except if you blow them up, there's a chance that they will have a dangerous fart attack that can hurt you, so be careful doing that. And, uh... They can also have pills or certain pedestal items inside them, which is nice. So I'm probably gonna end up just... Uh... Losing a... Oh, look what happened with that poop enemy, that's fun. Uh... I'm just gonna slam myself into this curse room. Normally I would be frugal about it and try to save the soul hearts, like do the rest of the floor before doing this. But I really don't think I'm going to take that much damage. Uh, maybe I will, but... Balls of Steel, that gives you two soul hearts. Lamau. And there's a great mod that just makes it say balls that is required to play the game. Oh yeah, and this is all just only true for like... This is all specific to Repentance, which is the, like, final DLC update for this game. If you do this with, like, base Rebirth, uh, there are gonna be some things that are different, yeah. That's true. Okay, uh, could bomb to get that key, but I don't really see a reason to right now. Uh, these Floor Spikes are one of the few things that will do one full heart of damage. I think, like, even Explosions don't do a full heart of damage at the beginning. There's a certain point in the game where you start taking more damage. Okay, this item's uh, Blue Baby's best friend, or question marks blue... Question marks best friend. Uh, I'm gonna take it. This is a little fly that I control with the same uh, stick that I used to control my tears. 
it's a pretty good uh, thing to have, actually. I'll show you how it works. It just uh, does damage to enemies. That's that's how it works. And it can be really useful for like annoying enemies you don't want to get close to. But a lot of the time, I just end up ignoring it. Annoying enemies I don't want to get close to, eh? Actually, why did he do zero damage to it? What? That was very strange. I thought that enemy was not taking damage there. Uh, yeah, sometimes a chest can have another chest inside it. So I wasn't expecting to spend a key here, but I guess I'm spending a key here. But, you got a key out of it, so whatever. So yeah, this guy's actually pretty pog. Uh, that's a sack. It's like a small chest, I guess. It just has a chance to, uh give you a few pickups. It can be a large variety of pickups. Also, you may notice that the shop and the treasure room were locked on every floor but the first floor. That's just another rule. First floor, they don't make them, they, they don't make you spend a key, but after that, they do. Okay, so I'm going to use the coupon here. I don't think it matters which item I'm standing closest to. It's just completely random. Yeah. So this is a battery. It'll charge my coupon and let me try again. And the coupon just gives you a free shop item. Okay, so we got kind of unlucky there. I don't know what the exact chance is for coupon to give you a free item, but, uh... There was a... That was a... Er, actually, what am I saying? I'm thinking about Mr. Me that has a chance to fail. Sorry, I'm... Zonked, apparently. These mushroom enemies are annoying because they just take a ton of time to kill. They have a- they're very tanky. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna go fight the boss right now. We only have 33% angel chance. Uh... Okay, this is Fistula. This is the classic asteroids boss. It just splits up into smaller parts and then it'll turn into, uh, a little worm there. You may note the golden poop. A uh, friend just turned one of the enemies into a coin when it killed it, which is really nice. I believe it turned it into a gold statue, and then when I broke the statue, it uh, became coins. Hey, look, there you go. Like, when the poop died, it also gave me a few coins. And there's some other rare poop types that can, that can be really helpful. The holy poops are great. Hey, we got the 33% chance for uh, an angel room. That's nice. This is a consolation prize. It detects what your lowest stat is and raises it and gives you one of the type of pickup that you have the least of. Which is, it can be very useful, uh, early floors. Okay. If it gives you coins, it gives you three coins. And it can be nickels or dimes, which is nice. Okay, so it looks like I get two items here, but actually I only get to have one. This is a little buddy that floats next to you and turns into a bunch of different, uh, familiars, I believe. I don't really care for it as much as this one, which is Holy Water, which used to be a really bad item. This is one of those ones that if you play base game Rebirth, you're going to be like, why did he like Holy Water so much? But now it's actually really good, so I'm going to pick it up. The other item disappears. Uh, I can throw this at enemies. Well, let's just show it off. You can throw it at enemies and it makes a little puddle of creep, although it's supposed to paralyze them, but that's only if they're not a flying enemy, and this is a flying enemy, so... Oops. Uh, yeah, if you blow up these angel statues, by the way, you get to fight the angel. This is kind of a complicated thing, uh, that you have to do in order to fight one of the final bosses of the game. I'm not really gonna delve into that right now, but they give you... In short, whenever you fight one of these, they give you half of a uh, piece of a key that you need for a door. After you've got both the key pieces, they just don't spawn anything. Uh, okay. Bombing angels doesn't work until you've unlocked Mega Satan. I actually didn't know that. Huh. Yeah, if there's stuff like that, I might, I might, uh, be lacking in information. Oh, cool. So these enemies will blow up when I kill them, and I don't want to kill that guy in the middle there, so I'm going to attempt to surgically destroy them. No. Oh. Before they can kill him. There we go. Because these guys can be killed by explosions. This is a beggar. Uh, you give him one coin at a time, and he has a chance to give you rewards. I kind of like using him. Uh, we, we don't have as much need for money because we have the coupon anyway. Although, I'm not going to be able to get charged for it this floor. Damn. 
and they usually, and, and, you know, this is not a guaranteed thing at all, they tend to pay out with a pedestal item within, like, 20 coins. There you go. How many was that? That was less than 20. Uh, that's just an HP up. This one also heals you by one red heart. If I had a way of draining one of my red hearts so I could heal it again, I would do that with, like, a blood bank or something. Uh, but that's not really necessary right now. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. I don't know why I didn't pick that up earlier. Uh, okay, I think we're... Uh, wait, what are we thinking for secret rooms? Class? Where do you think the secret room is? I'm gonna check these walls. Hmm. Okay, class, so... Vote now on your phones. Up or down? This is your, this is your quiz. Up or down? Up your ass. Up. Very good, class. Very good. Very good. Very good. I'm so proud of you. Some of you said down, but you know... Oh my god. Those are troll bombs. They have a random chance to replace bombs. It was kind of whack that there were two of them in there. Two of them. So, to those of you who were confused... The reason that the curse room is up here and not down here is because this wall, it would be impossible for a door to spawn there. So, good job, class. I'm, I'm very proud. Now I'm going to look for the super secret. Uh, it looks like it's probably right here. Boom. It's another one of these. Great. Don't really want to use it. Oh, you can also blow these up uh, and they can give you stuff. Let's just do that to show it off. Okay. That was just a, a net gain of a key. And sadly, I cannot get the blankie. The blankie is cool. It gives you, I think, one soul heart when you pick it up. And it also makes it so you get a temporary shield when you go into a boss room that protects you from one hit. Dora style streamer. <laughs> Soy Dora. <laughs> I've had this fucking Epic Games ad popping up on my screen the entire stream. I just got rid of it. I downloaded Epic Games Store so I could play Fall Guys with my boo. Alright, so there is the holy water being amazing, by the way. And you see how there's that annoying enemy there? I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of that with, uh, with the fly there. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. So, here's a little tutorial on bombing to make pits. Uh, this bomb rock might kind of screw it up. Actually, no. Let's do this. Because uh, when you bomb a rock, I don't know, can bomb rocks make pits though? Because they're blowing up. I never really thought about this. Uh, when there is a one by one pit, you can fill it with a rock by bombing it. Let's try. Okay, the bomb rock does not fill the pit, but since the bomb rock blew up, it made a pit, he or it filled a pit here, which lets me get the nickel. So, uh, yeah, you can do that with bombs to cross small gaps. If it's any wider than one, that it doesn't work, though. So, I, I didn't know that bomb rocks didn't fill a pit, so I learned something there. And this brings me to the real lesson of today's Isaac stream, which is that you can only know that you know nothing. I still learn new things about this game all the damn time. Like that whole right eye, left eye thing. Okay. That's bone spurs. It's pretty cool, but this little machine here, this is a very nifty machine. Uh, if we give coins to this machine, usually takes an average of like two or three coins. Uh, it has a chance to re-roll this item, which means that it will change it all these items are randomly generated, all the floor layouts are randomly generated, etc. Uh, I failed to mention that. <laughs> uh, it'll change it into a different item. Basically. So we're gonna do that. It is Stitches, which is a really cool item. But I want to keep this coupon. It's another active item. This one is cool. Let's just show this off for a hot second here, because there's a coin I can get with it. Uh... 
This is a little familiar. Actually, I control it the same way I do my little buddy. Oh, that's actually a crazy synergy. What the hell? I'm kind of tempted to take this now. But when I press the... Uh, for me, it's the left trigger. Oh, but then once I swap, it messes it up. Yeah. Uh, I teleport to where this guy was. We swap places. So you can use this to cross pits. And get these little coins that I missed. And stuff like that. So maybe... Uh, hmm... I actually kind of want to mess around with this, because my little guy... Oh, look at this. Juiced. Juiced! Absolutely juiced, and then I stroked his shaft till he died. Uh... You can telefrag enemies with it, which is really nice. It's just a really fun item. And the fact that it helps you, uh, cross pits is great, too. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna juice that guy, and then I'm gonna just... Long distance juice those guys with the fly. It's actually like a crazy synergy. Not that crazy. But as you can see, some items can work very well together. Oh, so this trinket makes it so if these tiny little poop enemies spawn, they just immediately go over to my side and become friendly poops. Uh, which just instantly cleared that room for me without me having to fire a single shot, which is kind of funny. And the poops also, one of their main benefits is that they block shots for you. They're like, get down, Mr. President! Okay, so now is the time for me to go get the coupon. And ditch the stitch for now. Uh, we want this, this is a damage up. It also makes the game slightly more challenging, but not really by that much. It'll be fine. Whew. See, that cleared my throat. Talking for a solid 40 minutes. I like that Bella stopped in and just said, I hate this. <laughs> I'm sure some people think I'm doing a bit. I don't know, if it's funny, then good. If it's funny, then good. Uh, okay, we got the one red heart. Great. Uh, so now we're gonna go... I'm gonna ditch Stitches for now. Because I want to charge up the coupon again and try to use it on that shop. We've been getting kind of bad luck. I had a stroke of good fortune the first time I used it. But all my strokes have been bad since then. Uh, okay... Oh yeah, these guys shoot out tears when they die, so you want to be far away from them when you kill them. Okay, so you see this door with two chains across it? That's going to take two keys to open. So one, two. Okay, that's a haunted chest. That's a very late game unlock that you won't have to worry about for a while, but... uh. Yeah, it's a chest that's like slightly paler than other normal chests, and it has a little ghost that, uh, throws the chest at you. It can be helpful. It can, like, carry it across gaps. That was a super troll bomb. They chase you, and they're assholes. Uh, so this button in the middle can do any number of crazy shit. Uh, there it just spawns some enemies. Uh, whenever it spawns enemies... It spawns them next to every door in the room. There, since there was only one door, all of them were next to the same door. But if there's a secret room on one of these walls, then it would have spawned enemies there, too. So there's, you know, this might have been a good place for a secret room. I don't know if these walls are clear or anything, but it could have been. Uh, but that button there actually deconfirmed the existence of a secret room there. So it couldn't have been there. And it can't, couldn't be here because there's a pit. Let's just check this wall. That would have been an okay place for a secret room, actually. But we saved a bomb with the button trick. Uh, okay. Now, we know the secret room couldn't be down there, but if it could have been there, we could take this, like, slightly tan TNT barrel and push it around. The other ones we can't push. This one we can. Uh, but you could use that to check for a secret room, even though we know it's not there. Uh, and then these ones self-explanatory, they also blow up. They have a chance to drop a trinket, too. Oh, damn. 
By the way, all the different colored enemies are champion variants. They just, they all have specific properties that make them more difficult. Uh, the red one, I believe, just does double damage. This one will blow up into tears when I kill it. There you go. It's just, you have to remember what all the different colors do. This is a neat trinket. I'm not actually going to take it. It has a small chance to drop stuff for you when you take damage. But it's a very small chance, so I'm not going to do it. And now I'm gonna go in here, I'm just gonna burn through a soul heart. Because we're doing pretty well, I don't really care about that one soul heart. And that curse room had nothing for me. Uh... The... Red chests often just have spiders in them, so... Gear up for disappointment when you're opening red chests, but they can have good stuff in them. Soul hearts, fairly commonly. Okay, looks like we're gonna get one more coupon charge. And I used that enemy to get into the super secret, which was completely unintentional. But that happens. Oh, there's a blood bank, which is really nice. That opens up several possibilities. And this is a rotten beggar. This is another pretty late game unlock. Uh, but he'll take coins and give you rotten hearts and uh, friendly, like, little assist sp spiders and flies. Uh, and I think occasionally he just drops maggots that you have to kill. Uh, rotten hearts are weird. I can't even, like, describe what the hell their whole thing is. It's like they they take up a full red heart container. They're like these stinky hearts, but they only act as one half a red heart. So any attack that would do half a red heart of damage completely deletes a, a rotten heart. But every room that you clear while you have a rotten heart... Uh, I should have juiced before coming down here. Every room that you clear while you have a Rotten Heart, it gives you a free assist fly. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for now. Uh, we have not found the normal secret room. It's not up from there, but it is probably right here. It was right there. Okay, oh, there's a pedestal item in here. That's kind of cool. It's not the best pedestal item. I'm probably not gonna take it. That's placebo, it makes it so that when you use a when you use it, it uses whatever pill you're holding for free without consuming the pill. Which can of course be bad, but it can also be uh really, really good. But I think I'm gonna keep this coupon. Uh these little blocks we have to spend a key to get into, you can probably figure that out. I didn't mean to touch that one, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Sometimes they drop coins, which is kinda nice. Uh, but yeah, I don't <sighs> Like, the placebo is definitely attractive. Let's, like, think about it. Because one of the side effects of playing as Kane is that you get uh, better pill effects. Because he starts off with this luck foot item. This is, like, his starting item. It gives him plus, plus one luck, I think. Uh, better gambling luck and better pills. I don't think they're necessarily all good pills like PhD does. But uh, they are better. So this is a blood bank. You hurt yourself for one half a red heart. Uh, or it would be one rotten heart. Let's review. Uh, and it gives you a coin or two in return. It can be a nickel or a dime, which is awesome. But since we have so many red hearts lying around on the floor, I'm just gonna go... Uh, I'm gonna juice myself. That's what we call juicing. And then I'm gonna go pick them all up. Uh, could you use the blood bank to get into the boss challenge room? Excellent point. Excellent point. And that's uh, probably precisely what we're going to end up doing. Oh, that's a scaredy heart. That's uh, a heart that runs away from you. They have like a, I think a random chance to do that. And there's some rooms that have scripted scaredy heart spawns. I'm just going to take that. I, maybe I shouldn't have. But, uh... I am going to try to use, and, and we're going to, you know, I was saying I'm not sure how bone hearts figure into it. I think the container doesn't count towards anything. I'm going to try, and we're probably, uh, you know, what floor is this? I'm going to just go fight the boss first, actually. It's this guy. Uh, these enemies that go into the ground, especially this boss, you want to be careful, uh, because sometimes they can just pop out of the ground right underneath you, so you want to kind of, like, slowly edge backwards. Oh, I missed with the holy water. Oh, I missed! But next time I hit him with it, he's dead. 
Okay, this gives you range up and drops a lucky penny, which is just a, another type of penny. You'll notice that it has a greenish glint to it, and when I pick it up, it, ha it gives me one luck, which is nice. Uh, all right. So now I'm going to, and, and yeah, I'm going to get rid of this black heart and soul heart, I think. Oh, that's good. There's that nickel. And uh, there's also a chance every time I hit this thing for it to drop, for it to explode and drop a pedestal item that will be useful to me, but we'll see. So I'm going to go test and see if bone heart containers count toward the... Uh, the boss challenge room. I actually don't know myself. It lets you in. So the bone heart don't matter. Uh, we could do this, but it would be a slight risk. I think... Alright, do, do you think we YOLO it? Let me go get... Uh, since I don't have charge for this thing, I'm just gonna go grab this. And you know what? I'm gonna buy this pill, too. Speed up, okay. Whatever. Do it for the vine, do it for the vine. So when I pick this item up, it will spawn two or three bosses, I forget. Oh, since, okay, if you, if you notice the boss health bar appears, but there's no actual boss, that means it's underground. This is Pin. Pin's a bit of a little bitch. Should be fine. That's Mega Maw. He just sits there. Uh, but watch out for his purple flame attacks that he's definitely gonna do. That he's. That he's def. He just sat there the whole time. What was that? It felt like something like glitched him out there. That was weird. <laughs> Alright. Well. Hard boss. Hard boss. He wanted to make you look bad. So now I'm gonna pick up that soul heart. That's kind of why I was hanging on to it. And now what do we got left? We're gonna Still think about that placebo, but I also want to re-roll stitches into something else uh, I could probably just get rid of coupon too, honestly. I was thinking about using it for devil rooms like it is cool for that It's like I could use stitches to get placebo, but then I would be stuck there uh, hmm. You know I'm gonna try something here, actually. Strange Attractor, no. That makes your tears magnetic, and it can be really annoying, actually. I'm gonna take that. Oh, but no, ah, uh, yeah, no, that doesn't work. I was like, I'm gonna keep swapping out all the pedestal item- all the active items in here, and then re-rolling all of them, but that's not how that works. I can't do that. Uh, and I don't think I'm gonna take placebo, I think I'm gonna keep stitches. Uh, and we're not gonna juice anymore, so I'm gonna blow both of these boys up. I'm gonna blow both of these boys. Okay, look, that guy gives you maggots when he does. And I think if we had not completed the floor yet, he would have affected our angel and devil chance. Which is really the only reason to blow them up. And blood bank just gives you random stuff like the other things. I think it actually only give you coins or hearts. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I'm ready to go, yeah. We got the champion belt. Cool. So, I'm, I'm kind of happy go going with stitches, actually, now that we got a little bit of money. Okay, by the way, it says Curse of the Maze there. Uh, oh no, I don't have the mod that disables them, actually. We do have Curse of the Maze, and I actually don't remember what Curse of the Maze does. I think it makes it so rooms, it can randomly teleport you to a different room when you walk between the rooms, and it can randomly, like, shift the rooms around. Uh, which is very annoying. Look at Holy Water doing work there. Uh, so if, if you ever see when I'm going through a room, if you see it, the, the screen, like, shake, that means that it's activating, so... I don't know if we could get it to activate with two rooms explored. Yeah, okay, we'll just see if it happens naturally. Okay, holy water being massively pogged, again, as usual. Uh, the Emperor. This takes you directly to the boss.
And I'm going to use it right now, which is maybe suboptimal. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then finish it with a telefrag. Yeah! Okay, so you got to kill the heart first with this boss, and then this guy can only be damaged by hitting him in the back. Uh, however, this blue fly item kind of just ignores that. And Stitches even gives you iframes when you uh, teleport for a second, so... It's pretty safe to telefrag bosses. There's a rotten heart. Notice how it doesn't, uh, it, it only, it fills up one red heart, even though there's an unfilled half a red heart beneath it, because it can only take up a full heart. This will just give me a speed up. It's kind of bad at this point. Uh, I am at the maximum speed now, too. This is Sacred Orb, right? Uh, this one is very cool, so... We don't see it right now. I usually have a mod on that shows item descriptions and the quality of each item. Uh, items are ranked in-game internally by like a number that corresponds to their quality. It's either one, two, three, or four, or zero. There's also zero. Uh, this is an item that, and I forget the exact specifics of it. It's kind of complicated, but uh, similar to one of the tainted characters, which we'll get to, I guess. Uh, maybe we won't even get to today. Uh, this basically makes it more likely for you to get higher quality items, which is pretty cool. It's, it's a good item. It looks like the Holy Hand Grenade. Destined for greatness. Now we're gonna fight this guy. Uh, the angel with blue robes is significantly easier than the one with red robes. Uh, so you gotta be careful. I think the first one's named Uriel, this one's named Gabriel, if memory serves. But this one has significantly more health. He does kill his own goons, though. Uh, I'm about to lose this bone heart. It's not the end of the world. Okay. So I got the full key. We don't need it for this run, but I got it. Because the key is for Mega Satan, and we're only going to Normal Satan. Are you writing this down? Love Stitches. Love Stitches so much. I like this build with the satisfying big tears. It's nothing, nothing exceptional, but... It's just kind of satisfying. Uh. And as you can see, Stitches has like a little burst radius. I'm just gonna use this and fill up. Oh, you'll note that the Rotten Heart got bumped up to fill the Bone Heart. That can happen. Okay, uh, <laughs> I assume if I got... So, Car Battery makes it so when you use an active item, you use it twice. Which is normally really, really good, but I figure for this... <laughs> I guess, it, it like, it still would be really good, actually. I figure it would teleport me there and back. Like... Someone said it nullifies stitches. What does that mean? Do you still get, like, the hitbox from it, uh, teleporting, though? Because that actually, like, sounds really good. You know? There and back again. The Hobbit. Very cute. It does the telefrag. Like, that's cool. And it, but it, it, it does just remove the ability to cross pits, that's true. I think I'm gonna re-roll it. Uh... It's a tough choice. It, it seems funny, seems cool. Like, that's a cool interaction that I kinda wanna show off, but no. We're not gonna take that. This item gives you a few coins and makes it so that anything you would use keys to unlock is instead unlocked with coins. PhD is also kinda cool, but I'm already, like I said, with the luck foot, that's the thing that makes it so every pill has a good effect. Uh, I already have the luck foot, which basically does that. So... I'm not gonna go for it. I'm not gonna go for that either. That spawns a random shop item to purchase. And now I can't afford whatever's here. So I'm gonna just blow this up. And this is complicated, I'm not gonna... Or actually, no, I can't do the strat here. Because I can't quit out of a daily. There's an advanced strat you can do there when you blow up these machines, because they re-roll everything twice, and you can, like, pause on the second thing. Uh, I don't want Mr. Me. 
this is another thing that lets you steal shop items. It's actually incredibly useful. But, I don't know. We got so many active items and just... I, I can't find a use for all of them. Ooh, here's a gold coin. Uh, has a random chance to just replicate itself somewhere else in the room when you pick it up. And usually gives you maybe about an average of like 10. Which is uh, not bad. It's what we call the cardio penny. Because uh, it makes you get a workout running around the room like an asshole. Oh, oh, oh. These mask enemies are like that mask boss. The masks themselves are invincible. You gotta kill the heart. Aim for the heart. Right, go get him, boys. Ooh, a holy dip has spawned. No time for it to just instantly run into the spikes. So I lost the rotten heart. I can pick up a half a red heart. This holy dip is really amazing. You'll note when I look at my stats, when I stand inside the radius of it, my tears and my damage go way up. Like, way up. And it also gives me homing shots, which is amazing. So we want to we wanna protect that dip with our lives. If at all possible. Okay, we're gonna use stitches to get this. Like, I think, I figured with that, if I had gotten car battery, I still could have picked it up. It's just I would have instantly teleported back. I think actually car battery would have been a pog take, and I kind of regret not taking it. Oh, that room when the screen shook there, and I teleported across two unexplored rooms, that was Curse of the Maze. This is a really great item that just has a 50-50 chance, I think, to make it so when you get hit, you just don't take damage. Oh, and I teleported back across the same two rooms. <laughs> what? Okay, that was really goofy. That was some wacky luck right there. <laughs> the unreachable rooms. Oh god. Please live, please live. The high tears are letting me do this. Come on, yeah. So you can see this this guy's amazing. Okay, we're gonna use stitches for that. It's a pill. Tears up, so if I had got placebo, yeah, that would have been really good. Yeah. Oh wait, and we can do the curse room with stitches as well. Let me demonstrate that. That's a bit of an advanced tech. <laughs> you wanna come out from a behind there, dude? No? You just want to keep jumping directly to the right with no variance. Cool. That was actually very annoying. The way that guy, like, ha he, like forced me to put the dip in harm's way to actually harm him. Oh! Just got an eternal heart there. Uh, that... You'll note that it's, uh, it tagged on to my bone heart up there. It'll normally tag on to your last red heart container. And so the next damage I take will lose it. But if I carry that to the next floor, then I get an extra heart container, a permanent one. Uh, so, watch here. I, I noted that Stitches gives you iframes when you use it, like right after you teleport. So if I'm holding up right here, and I put Stitches right in front of the uh, curse room door, and I use it, I can go through the curse room door for free. Which is really nice. Okay, it was one half a heart. Great. I'm going to do that to get back through. It's uh, sort of unlikely that I keep this Eternal Heart. I guess I already beat the boss. But now I'm going to dick around and lose it. Like a fool. Use it or lose it! Okay, we're going to just... Yep. Those skull enemies that were floating around the room also are unkillable and can only be killed if you uh, get all the rest of the enemies in the room. Oh, I got hit there, but all that happened was I like, glow blue and didn't take damage. That was the Mask of Infamy. The Mask of Infamy. Oh, look at this. Big chest. Uh, I'm going to go for this. 
the big chest takes anywhere, it's like a random number of keys between like three and seven or something like that. Maybe four and nine, it's like roughly that amount of keys. Uh, but we have plenty for it, so we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna open the small chest first and fight the enemies though. Uh, Cause I do kind of want to keep this eternal heart, but it's gonna be kind of hard at this point. Ha! Oh wait, wait, wait! There's a soul heart right here. That'll protect it. That's relaxing. Okay. Ah. There you go. Oh, these enemies have a special thing where when they hit you, uh, you drop one or two coins. And you also, it also just deletes a coin from you, I believe. So not only do you have to pick up the coins that you drop, but you also just lose a coin overall. Any second now. These enemies are called Wazoob. And they are very funny because Wazoob. Okay, so let's count how many. Two! It only took two! Who? God damn! What? I thought for sure it was like three or four was the minimum, so it just drops a lot of stuff. This is the butt penny. Uh, it's an ass penny. When you pick up pennies, you go poopy. It's very funny, in my opinion. We don't want it, though. It's bad. Uh, alright. So... Uh, now I'm just gonna leave, I think. Kinda hoping the Curse of the Maze just, like, takes me there. That would be very chiller and baller. Oh yeah, these skulls can drop cards or black hearts. And they can also spawn a host enemy. Which are the annoying, like, clamshell dudes that, like, stick their heads out. Uh... Mr. Me is quite cool. It's a very useful sort of all-purpose item. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do, actually? Hold on, this is kinda funny. Will the bomb reach these? I think it will. I'm gonna put- I'm gonna stitches right there. I'm gonna stand directly in the center. And I'm gonna bomb and teleport out. Hey, look at that! I got a black heart and a card. That was a very efficient stitches use. Uh, so I'm gonna grab that. And we're just gonna hang on to this card. Actually, so this card makes it so a giant foot stomps down from the sky. And, uh kills enemies in the room, but it can also kill shopkeepers who can show up in secret rooms, who I just realized we have not found the secret room on this floor. Let's just start checking, because we got plenty of bombs. There we go. Uh, this is a wooden chest. They usually contain either a specific set of pedestal items that are like wood-themed, or cards, I believe, or pills. Pills. This time, at least. So I'm going to use the High Priestess, and it's going to crush this guy right here. Because it targets onto them as though they're enemies. He did not give me anything, though, which is sad. Uh, that one drains all but one of your red hearts and gives you, like, between one and four red hearts on the ground. It can be useful, because if you use it at, like, no health, it'll just heal you a lot. Speed up, and bad gas. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna assume the super secret is next to the boss room. If it's not, I just don't even care enough to get it. Uh, yeah, it's probably right here. Uh, this one makes it so that every chest turns into a golden chest, which is actually pretty cool. I like the poop trinket, though. I like it so much. Just the holy poops really sell it for me. I don't, I don't want to get that. Oh, yeah, and that golden key that I got, you'll see it in the HUD over here. Uh, if there were any more things to unlock on the floor, that would have made them free to unlock. But... When I go down a floor, the golden key will go away. Oh, Gilded Key also gives you a key when you pick it up. Wow, misplay. Misplay, cringe. Ah, ha! Huh. Okay, this boss, there's kind of a fun little thing you can do. A little reference to Legend of Zelda 1 where you can feed him a bomb, and he will take accelerated amounts of damage. Mm, these spikes look so hazardous. I will cross them with my best guy's stitches. 
but you can only stuff a bomb in this guy's mouth when he's doing that charge move right there, yeah. His mouth has to actually be open. Okay, <laughs> my voice is tired. I'm use stitches to get in there. We're gonna use stitches to get in here too. The chest might bump me into the fires. It puts out fires? It puts out blue fires? What? I didn't know stitches put out blue fires. Blue fires normally can't be put out with shots. Damn. Okay. Blue fires can also contain soul hearts, which is why it's actually it's pretty useful to blow them up or destroy them with stitches. Which I didn't know it could do that. Awesome. Just yet another... Uh, you know, common stitches W, honestly. Like, another common dub for my king stitches. Oh yeah, look at the holy water just killing all those yellow spiders that they got spawned. Okay. Drowsy. Another hematemesis, we're just gonna not use that. Because it could just drink all my juice and call me a bitch. Damn it. Oh, we want another really cool holy water moment here. But we're not gonna get one, are we? Okay. This one's, uh, this is a champion enemy that's, like, partially invisible. Which can be a huge pain in the ass. Oh, that was a bad stitches. Bad use. Inting. Uh, this is a pretty neat little thing. If you have an empty heart container, then it'll count as a red heart, but if you don't, then it counts as a soul heart. And not just half a soul heart, like an entire soul heart, which is cool. Uh, have we seen any, like, blue fires? I never explained the eternal hearts, didn't I? It's fragile, it goes to your... Yeah, I did. And it gives you a heart container if you go down a floor. It goes to your outermost red heart container. So if I picked one up right now, it would go to the right side of this bone heart. And then if I go down a floor, it gives me an extra permanent container, which is nice. Usually if you find one, you want to, like, hang on to it. Like, you don't even want to pick it up until the end of the floor, usually. Sometimes you accidentally pick them up, or other circumstances happen. It's a complicated game. Man, I wish I had the butt penny right now. Okay, so on this floor, either Depths 2 or Necropolis 2, which is just an alternate version of the Depths, when you enter the boss room, it will lock you in there. That's a point of no return, with exceptions, but it's typically a point of no return. Uh, so we're going to want to avoid doing that for now, because we haven't found the treasure room. Oh yeah, every floor is guaranteed to have one treasure room and one uh, shop. As well as a boss room. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's guaranteed every floor. I don't think there is. Uh, because we heard that laugh, that means a hand will fall down from the sky. You can tell because there's a growing shadow that appears around your feet. Uh, they can be quite annoying. There's a couple different hand enemies. That's so good. Nice. Oh, look at this! A gold troll bomb. These are pretty rare. Uh, it's just a troll bomb that explodes over and over and over again forever. It's very silly. And we're going to try to use it, so you see how these other bombs are cross spikes. If I if I didn't have stitches, this is what I would resort to. Stitches kind of gets this for me for free. But you could push that over there and use it to propel the bomb across. But we have stitches, so I can just get them. Okay, you have to press all the buttons to clear this room, and these spike things, if you move too quickly near them, they, like, get set off, but if you go very slowly, 
then you can get away with it. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if this works. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> That's cute. I love stitches so much. What an amazing item. Yeah, secret and super secret rooms are also guaranteed. Okay, so stitches. Here, boy. Let's see if I can get two of them. No. I had no idea he could put out blue fires. That's so awesome. What a great item. Okay, none of these are giving me soul hearts so far. But whatever, it's a proof of concept. Okay, thank you. I think these guys... Actually, I forget. Would these guys also make me drop money if they hit me? We'll never know, because they'll never hit me. Shtabam. What even dropped all those half-red hearts? Is there some kind of, like, champion guy? Or is it one of my poops? Uh, okay. We have 71 goddamn coins. I'm gonna ignore these items out of sheer goddamn spite. This lets me carry two trinkets. I will take that right away. It also spawns a trinket. Oh, I just got a transformation. That's why it said yes mother at the top of the screen. So, transformations, there's like certain sets of items in the game that if you get three of a set, then you get a transformation. So, uh, there's the one that I got was the mom transformation. It makes it so there's this knife dragging behind me and I have this dress on now. Uh, the knife does damage to enemies, it's pretty cool. It's not the best transformation, but, uh, so... This is a mom item, this is a mom item, and... Is this the third mom item? No. That can't be right. Uh, what am I- chat, or is it... What's the other one? Oh, it, I'll tell you what it was. It was mom's box earlier on, when I picked that up. Yeah. So, uh, we got Mom's Purse, Mom's Heels, and Mom's Box was earlier, so now we got the Mother Transformation. Uh, I'm also gonna pick this up. This is a single-use active item, uh, that just gives you a random pedestal item, and it depends- it's a different item- it's from a different pool of items depending on what room you're in. This is a- this is a thing in this game. Shop has a different pool of items, Treasure Room has a different pool of items, Curse Room, Boss Room, uh, they all have specific pools. And what we would like to do is use the box in a secret room, because the secret room item pool is very good. Uh, it's not like, you know, infallible, but it's good. So here's our secret room. This has the greed fight in it. There's a chance he'll give me steam sale, which is awesome. He also makes me drop coins when I get hit. And you'll note I permanently went, de went down one coin. I'm just going to use the chariot on this guy, which makes me invincible for a second. For a hot second, even. Uh, so I'm going to use the gift in here. It gave me one up mushroom, which is a extra life. Just means when I die, it'll revive me with full red heart containers. That's amazing. A very cool item. Uh, yeah, and that present item also has like a 1 or 2% chance to drop Lump of Coal or The Poop, just specifically as a meme. This I don't really want. That battery normally stores energy so that your active item can have double charge. Not terribly useful for stitches, frankly. I thought that was placebo again. God, so many active items. Uh, some, by the way, someone said I could stitches the shopkeeps. It's true. Another common Stitches W. Uh, I'm going to take this. Normally this item is not very good for me because I have curses disabled because I'm a filthy cheater. It also gives you a black heart, but this one turns off curses for the rest of the run, which is nice. And gives you slight angel devil chance, I guess. That's birthright. I forget what it even does with normal cane. Let's see what it says. Better arcades and luck up. Right. Better arcades. I've never got Birthright as uh, Kane. So I guess I'll explain Birthright. Birthright is an item that does a specific, unique thing for every character in the game. So, uh, 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. It, it, that's just what this specific one does. It, like, guarantees that you'll find an arcade on every floor. I think maybe even post, like, womb, which normally doesn't happen, and it makes them better layouts. Uh, and then this... Someone said, why is that bomb sexy? Uh, this is Mama Mega. It's kind of cool. Uh, uh, if we can find enough money to buy it, I'll, like, show it off. But it's not really going to be that useful, this floor. It basically blows up the entire floor. At once. Or not at once. Room by room. Agonizingly. Uh-huh. Like, I've got this gold dip that I could just, like, lead to his death. So those rocks, uh, drop coins for you. That's another pretty late game unlock. So that'll do. Now we're gonna go buy Mama Mega. If I use it on this floor, I could do Hush. That is true, but I would have to use it... Er, uh, Boss Rush, yeah. But I think, don't I have to use it after the fight? So I would have to ditch stitches, is that correct? How does it work? I don't? That's kind of whack. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna use it. Okay, here's Mama Mega. I summon Mama Mega. Kaboom. It'll open boss rush at the start of the mom fight. Oh. Huh. Okay, so it's gonna blow up all those skulls. It's just every time we enter a room... Oh, the gold dip died. Uh, every time we enter a room, it's just gonna blow up everything in the room. Which is pretty nice. I'm just gonna use this chariot card because it's pretty useless. Oh, wait! Temperance! While we're invincible, we can juice ourselves for free. And we can also use these hearts. Oh, hey, look at that. So there's the item that it has a random chance to drop. Uh, there's two different blood bag items. One of them is like a spacebar item, or an active item that's just a reusable blood bank. This one is just an extra heart container, and it heals you five hearts, which is nice. Uh, so I'm gonna go around blowing up every absolutely everything. We're just gonna see what we get. Might get a crawl space. Might get some cool stuff from blowing up skulls. Uh, might get jack shit. The golden bomb is unfazed. Okay, that bomb rock blew up. We're gonna go pick up this hematemesis, because that's... Actually, no, we don't actually have a, a juicing method right now, though. Although I could go into the boss challenge room. I'm kind of tempted to. If that uh, blood donation machine had not blown up... Oh, I could have just used stitches to get that. I'm a fool. Okay, let's get that super secret room, at least. Hey, look, the fool. That's actually a complicated thing. That's guaranteed to drop from tinted skulls on this floor. You don't really need to worry about that. Ooh! Yeah, yeah, the uh, the blood bag... It heals five hearts, which is why it's really great to get, like, a bunch of blood donation machines at once. So... Uh... We got super secret... Uh, I'm gonna leave that there for now. So, you know how I was talking about how there's a third super duper secret room? We're about to go there. That was a reversed moon card, and, uh, yeah, reversed cards are kind of a whole thing. Oh, man, Stitches can't cross the little key blocks? Uh, the rare Stitches L. I don't know if I actually want this item. This is one that gives you a couple of broken hearts, and then every time you die, it gives you more broken hearts, but keeps you alive. And a broken heart is basically just a heart container that's ruined, that cannot be... It, it like, lowers your max health, basically. So, uh, it, it does give you, like, it gives you benefits for each broken heart that you have, but I don't really, I don't know. Oh, and then this is also, uh, so, <laughs> god, Ultra Secret Room's really hard to describe. Uh, and it's gonna let me just get into the boss challenge room without actually juicing myself, which is awesome. These coins are bothering me. So, there are red rooms that can be created outside the borders of the map. So, this right here is a red room. And they can be absolutely any kind of room, they are completely random. 
they uh it's it's really hard to describe but the ultra secret room is only accessible via red rooms which is uh, kind of crazy okay this is going to give me a luck up two keys and a soul heart i believe yeah yeah i know the game i'm game i'm gamer this boss can be annoying because of that move right there But as you can see, Stitches is really good for just taking huge chunks out of a boss's health bar. Which is very nice. Ooh, holy water moment. Nice. That this is a very success susceptible enemy to holy water. Yeah, just roll right across it. Dude. Alright, I got hit a couple times there, but it's not a big deal. Uh... I'm gonna take this, actually. It gives you three broken hearts. But hey, look at that. Cool damage up. I'm gonna take it. I, like, never take that item, and I think this is a one run anyway. And we want to show off all the mechanics of the game. So those three hearts up there are broken hearts. They can no longer be filled or used in any way. And I'm not gonna go into the curse room, because I don't care enough. Uh, alright. Have we... Oh yeah, there's also spider webs on the ground. They slow you down a little bit. They're usually not really a factor, honestly. Uh, hold on. There was a blood bank, there was a blood bag over here, but I, do I even, like, want that? <laughs> I'm gonna go get it. It'll delete one of my black hearts, though, because you can only have a maximum of, I think, 12 heart containers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. So, it deleted, or I guess it deleted one of my soul hearts, actually, and, like, just, oh, weird. Black hearts take priority over soul hearts sometimes. It's like if you have- if you're full up on soul hearts and you pick up a black heart, it'll just replace... Uh, one of the soul hearts. Hey, okay, this is an empress, I think, yeah. I'm gonna keep the hematemesis. Oh, and this soul heart I cannot pick up because, again, black hearts take precedence. So, but if there was a black heart here, I could replace this soul heart with a black heart. Okay, we're gonna go into this boss, this is the mom fight, and she's dead. Mama Mega, that's really weird, I've never used Mama Mega like that. Okay, so there's a lot to explain here. This is normally the final boss when you like first buy the game, uh, before you have any like unlocks, but later on you'll unlock different paths to take through the game. Since this is a daily, it's giving me an item that only will take me down a certain path. Uh, this one also gives me a damage up. Uh, but this hole right here was blown open by Mama Mega. This is something that's normally only, uh... Only available if you take about 20 minutes to get here. If you take under 20 minutes to get, uh, here and beat Mom, then this door will open. But with Mama Mega, you just get to go in here for free. Uh... I don't know if I'm taking any of these. That's... pretty good. That's Virgo, I think, right? Might take Virgo. Continuum's also tempting. I'm gonna take this. Although, yeah, fuck it. So now I'm going to fight a bunch of bosses. Uh, I think it's 30 bosses, I believe, is the number. So I'm really glad that the holy water, like, respawns here. And these bosses will drop hearts, uh... Daily runs take place in normal mode, by the way, which, uh... One of the defining characteristics of normal mode is that bosses drop hearts, like, all the time, whereas in hard mode they drop less hearts. So, in normal mode, boss rush is significantly easier because of the fact that they give you a bunch of hearts throughout, because every boss that dies drops a heart. Any, like, some type of heart pickup. I think. Whereas in hard mode, it's not guaranteed. So this is a flying enemy. This is gonna take a while. I probably shouldn't have done this. This is an insane... This, like, this is the, the fruitiest of the fruit runs. I'm sorry. I said I was gonna hang out with Bella after this, and now I'm just, like, wasting her fucking time. Uh. 
because now this run is gonna take like two hours. Oh yeah. I should be using stitches, but stitches in these big rooms, it's kind of hard to use. That boss, this boss that I'm attacking right here, uh, can spawn red poops, which are very annoying. So I need to, I want to kill it at all costs, because that's a poop that would stick around and damage me and respawn throughout the course of me doing boss rush, which would be very annoying. Uh, and if I were to explain all these bosses, we'd be here all day. I don't know. A lot of them have specific gimmicks. Oh, this guy turns into coins when you kill him, which is awesome. That's great. So, Virgo made it so that I get this shield every once in a while, by the way. And, uh... That's really useful with the knife, the, like, mom transformation thing that I got, because that means I can just run into enemies and do damage with the knife really easily. Whoa. <laughs> that was weird. I froze it on a very strange looking frame. But look how many hearts are lying around right now. I mean, this is... Like, even if I get damaged a bunch, we're fine. Holy water is honestly so good now. It, it still baffles me to this day how they managed to buff it that hard. I've heard Edmund's gonna buff the D10. He, like, said that he was gonna buff... the, uh, the worst... the, the community-voted worst item. Okay, this is another one that's like asteroids. It splits up into little pieces. Holy water doing work right now. Why is that guy just like impossible to hit? That was weird. He was gold frozen. He got like Midas touched, but he was not. He could not be vinced. Or Gilliganed. But like, look, even some of the bosses are dropping soul hearts. So this is... this is fine. It's a lot harder in hard mode. Which, I know that sounds like a no-brainer, but some things aren't really that much more difficult in hard mode, but this specifically is. Because of the way that hard mode, like, works. I'll just pick up that soul heart, whatever, who cares. Might not be the most, the most efficient use of my health, but whatever. We can also drop bombs into this guy's mouth. Ow. There's also an internal heart there. Look how that showed up. One thing that will get burnt into your head if you play this game, that boss that I just killed, the like flying bat demon guy, that's Krampus. And he has this one move where he gets this really dumb expression on his face and then shoots out four brimstone beams. Uh, they didn't actually get that move out at all while I was fighting him there, but you want to watch out for that shit. It is, it is a trial and a tribulation or two to, uh, to, uh, to, to learn to avoid that move because it has, it's a pretty devious move. Oh my god, the red poop. Red poop on red poop violence. Ow. Okay, but see, I just keep getting hit and refilling the bone heart there. We're fine. I wonder what my score will be like here, because I did take forever. But I'm also doing, like, boss rush and shit, which I feel like maybe, whoa, maybe not everybody will have done. Somebody pointed out that incoming numbers died on the last daily. They're both so tiny! They're both so small! Because his name was, like, red, I guess that indicates that you died. So that would explain why you had a lower score than me. I thought I was just a super poggers gamer. Did you see how he inhaled and, like, sucked all the items towards him? Kind of convenient, actually. Okay, this guy pisses himself and, uh... Shoots eyeballs, bounce around the room. He's the easier version of the bloat, which is like the most hated boss. Okay. I think we're pretty near the end. It's like a... Correct me if I'm wrong, chat members. Boss Rush is like a random pool of bosses, right? Or is it always the same bosses? 
I think it might actually always be the same bosses, but in like a random order. Right. Here's Bloat. This is the fucked up version of the uh, of that other boss. It's also it's a champion variant. Well, bosses can have champion variants too, just like normal enemies. Uh, that is particularly. Actually, no, it's not as obnoxious as the normal form of Bloat. So I don't think this one has the Brimstone attack. That is uh, usually the, the annoying part of fighting the Bloat. So, good. I approve this message. Okay, looks like I won. This is Bloody Gust. Uh, I think when I get hit, it gives me, like, tears and speed up. But it only lasts for that current floor, I think. It's an item I'm not super familiar with. Okay, and there's that soul heart. Nice. Okay, here's our guaranteed arcade from Kane. I've never actually seen this birthright effect, so... Oh, here's a claw machine. You put nickels into this and it has a random chance to give you the item in there. It's a pretty cool item. That one gives us piercing shots, which just pass straight through enemies. Which can be a good and bad thing sometimes, because it also doesn't knock them back anymore. That's the D20, which I don't actually really want. I'm not even going to explain that. I'm tired. <laughs> actually, no. It rerolls pickups on the floor. So, like, bombs, coins, keys, batteries, cards, etc. get rolled into other cards, coins, keys, bombs, batteries, pills, etc. Uh, it can be really useful. It can even reroll stuff into chests. You can get these kind of like infinite loops going with it, but uh, it's a it's an active item, and I, I want stitches still. This is a pin room. Hello, pin. Good. This is a dice room, it also takes two keys to open, uh, and it has a random effect. This one will reroll every pedestal item on the floor, I believe? Might just be in the room, I think it's on the entire floor, though. But each, the number of pips on the dice in the center of that room determines what type of effect it will have. And they have all varying stuff. I don't think there is a dice- ooh, is that a tinty? I think this one to the left of me is a Tinty. They're very hard to spot in the womb, and we got a troll bomb out of it. Great. Yeah, should I try... Someone said try using the machines because they pay out more. Let's take a look at that. I mean, I already tried the crane game. Uh, Let's try one of these. The sun. Whoa. Uh, okay, well, the sun full heals you and shows you the map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna juice myself. Oh yeah, since we're after the womb, we now take a full heart of damage with everything. Nothing will ever do a half a heart of damage again. Uh, except when you have- there are specific items that protect you from that. Which I kind of thought in my head that Virgo was one of those, but no, it gives you the shield. Nice. So there's a blood bag. That'll heal us, but it'll also... It, I'm, I'm kind of considering not even taking it, honestly. Uh, because we have this whole broken heart situation going on. So I'm actually just going to juice a little bit more. Did not get the shield. Now I'm just going to use... I guess we also have a hematemesis. Goddamn. Let's use that. We're just getting as much money out of this as possible. And since uh, we're on the womb, so this means that shops and treasure rooms will no longer spawn. Uh, making money a little less useful, but it's still... It's got uses. You can still find beggars. There's plenty of stuff. Okay, so the sun just healed me fully and showed me the map. Uh, I'm gonna start using this, because even if I don't want the D20, I kind of want potentially whatever is underneath this item. And we don't have much else use for, uh... Oh god, for money. But you can just throw away all your money on these. Uh, like a real crane game. Cool. 
Alright, now it's gonna give it to me. No. You gotta give it to me when it's like the fuck you one. Uh, hold on. No, we, we'll come back to this. Oh, that's a pretty cool item. And I just realized I can also re-roll those. Okay, well this is just a funny. This is just a fucking funny. Uh, this is an item that you get for getting all completion marks as all the normal characters. Which is quite difficult, but you get this as a reward. Considered one of the better items in the game. I'm a big boy now. Let's show it off, shall we? I'm... BIG! And, oh god, I'm so fast. And you just squish enemies. And it- this is one of the very rare items that persists between rooms. I think you're invincible for this, too. Oh god! It's fine, I still have shots. And just crush. And you'll notice that it's charging. It has a ton of bars of charge. But it is charging while I'm doing this. Which is uh, another kind of... A lot of items don't really work that way. Okay, the effect is running out. Oh, get him! Oh god, yeah. That was so satisfying. Okay, Stitches. I think you've been replaced. I think you've been replaced. Oh. Yeah, I don't even really care about messing around with blood bags anymore. We could go check, uh... The other thing. I should probably just, like, race to the end, though, now, at this point. Like, are we done? Are we done here today? My voice is getting kind of tired. Oh, that's a bloody chest. That's like a mimic spike chest. The little spot of blood on it gave it away. Uh, I'm just gonna hit it, though. Okay. Gotta watch out for those when you're playing as the Lost. And I'm just gonna pick this up, whatever. I don't really care. I don't even really want that, honestly. Uh, here's a rainbow poop. This makes it, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go juice. It full heals you. We're gonna get all this money, and then we're gonna go try to get that crane game to pay out a little more. This with Virgo is so amazing. Okay, another blood bag. And we're gonna re-roll all those blood bags. Actually, that's a great strat, I think. So pick up the heart, pick up the coins. This is actually really cool. And I think I'm gonna save... Oh, nice, holy dip. Uh, I'm gonna try to save Mega Mush for the next floor. Because I don't think you can carry it between floors, I could be wrong. Okay, uh, can't even... No, I can pick that up. Right, the, the broken heart's like, move over. Move over, sister! So I should have gone in there while I had... Mega Mush effect on. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna juice this, too. We finally got D20. Okay. Oh, God, we got the shield again. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, I see. Alright, now we're gonna go break that rainbow poop. We got tons of money. Oh, is that technology one? Hmm. Oh, and the crane game blew up. I don't... <sighs> Do we want tech one? Like, that is really good with what we have. I'm gonna take that. And then we're gonna, uh... So this makes your tears into lasers. It's badass. Holy shit, that's actually so satisfying. So all these other items, we're going to re-roll. Even Stitches is gonna get re-rolled. Oh my god. Even Stitches got re-rolled. I'm genuinely talking like it's a kid's show. So, now that we got all those pedestal items that I don't really want. Now we're going to, uh... Re-roll all of them and see what we get. 
That's good. That's, uh, I think, another curse immunity or something like that, but it's also two luck up. You feel protected. What, what exactly is the protection there, chat? Oh, and these are both great. This one makes... Oh, I got the mushroom transformation for getting Mega Mush, uh, that Spore shot, and the 1-Up Mushroom. And then this gives you Teeth shots, which are great. Oh my god. That's so cool. <laughs> this is a crazy build. And we still have the Rainbow Poop to work with, too. <laughs> oh god. I should have juiced more so that we could have got another pedestal item out of this, but whatever, it don't matter. None of this matters. None of this matters! Okay. We're good. We're good. I don't need, like, another trinket. Oh, there's another coin in there? Thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with these trinkets. The heart trinket just makes it more likely for, for hearts to appear, I believe. Which is spawn. It's the gamer term. Alright, we're gonna blow that up. Cute rainbow. Gives us full health. I'm not gonna go into the curse room and... Uh... I mean, I don't know why I'm doing this. It's just because we got such a cool, satisfying build. Eh. No, holy dip. Yes. 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 <laughs> This is where the game really opens up. Alright. Now I'm just gonna go. Uh, wait, what do we got here? Quince! Do we have any counts toward conjoined? No. I think this is our first one. This makes the first five enemies you kill in a room, uh, turn into little friendly ghost babs that can't move around, like the ones you see there. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty nuts. That's just a soul heart in range. It's pretty useless right now. Uh, we're gonna go into the Satan room. Okay, I don't really want any of these, but there is a hand that's gonna drop down from the sky. God. <laughs> that is such a satisfying, like, noise. Ooh, this, I'm not gonna pick it up, but it gives you a heart container when you pick it up, which is kind of neat. It's a pretty unique trinket in that way. Okay. Bye bye. I'm not even gonna look for the secret rooms. We're starting to, uh, we're starting to go at a pretty blazingly fast speed here. Hey, look at that. Um, okay, here's our arcade. Oh my god. <laughs> what a, like, grapefruit core run. Verp. Hematemesis. Okay! <laughs> now... Juice. And if I get the shield here... Yeah, take the opportunity to hit all of them. <laughs> this is so stupid. There's no fucking point to doing this. This, my friends, is efficiency! I'm gonna max out at 99 coins here pretty soon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, we're- like, there's seriously no point. Blood bag. Blood bag. And blood bag. <laughs> okay, so then we can fuck around with these guys. These just, both of these, the shell beggar game and the uh, slot machines just give you random crap, basically. Random pickups. Okay. Start picking up these hearts. One of them blew up. They have a chance to do that. Sometimes they blow up into an item that gives you 100 coins, too, which is nice. Balls of steel, okay. Okay, this is now very pointless. Ooh, one of them gave me a pretty fly, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, the homing. Oh, right. It's because they're all my friends. I forgot. I was like, the homing is not really good right now, huh? I should probably start actually just playing the fucking game. We're not even gonna use that hematemesis pill. Okay, should I just go, like, stomp the boss? Oh, no. Dip. No! I think they do get damaged by that. <gasps> yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> How many blood bags can I spawn in one run? And then not take. Oh, Infamy is also proccing there. This- okay. How fucking long an hour and 42? Alright, get rid of that rotten heart. Oh! Nice shield proc. Poggers. Okay. God, and there's so many different kinds of pennies in here, and I just don't even want them. I could try and, like, pay out the rotten beggar. What did he even give me? Like a spider, maybe? A fly? It's hard to tell in all the... This is so stupid. But I gotta be efficient! I gotta use up my money! Things that nobody else in this daily did. Oh, that gave me a bone heart. Weird. Yeah, he can do that. That's- that's good. It's just soul hearts are completely useless to me now. Okay. You know what? I think we're probably good here. Just after the cardio penny pays out. Or stops paying out, rather. Think of the swag bonus we're gonna get at the end of this, though, guys. Think of the swag. All that time I wasted will have... Will, it'll be fine. Okay, it stopped paying out. I have no excuse anymore. Goodbye! Oh, no hush. Lame. Okay, now time to stomp. Time to stomp. 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 I don't have the laser anymore, which kind of sucks. Stomp. Oh, that's an end. Sad. Satan's probably the way that I went right at the beginning. If Murphy's Law is any uh, indication. I'm occasionally shooting lasers, actually? I don't really know what's going on there. Oh, great, this room's gonna waste my goddamn time. Good thing I can crush the doors. Okay. So. Uh, this is the last floor of the run. This is where Satan lives. This is Satan's house. Uh, we're gonna fight him and then we're gonna be done. Nice, quick daily. Nice, simple, quick Isaac daily. Uh, I'm drowsy, that'll help. That'll be very helpful against the difficult, difficult boss that I will probably just stomp on. Soul of Magdalene? No, Soul of Isaac. Uh, no, you don't even get to know what that does. I'm tired. Oh, God. This is the most obnoxious thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Okay. Uh, no, wait, I shouldn't have done this. I'm such a loser. Okay, whatever. We're not gonna get to stomp Satan. I'll just go on a rampage afterwards in my rage. So the drowsy pill takes what would have been an easy fight and makes it even easier. There's that quad brimstone attack I was talking about. And Holy Dip is gone, but so is Satan. Satan's got a few phases. He made me fight Krampus, then you fight this form, then you fight his feet. Edmund's got like a thing for feet.
Nice. Holy water has been so good the entire run. Over and over. And now I am big! Give me the trophy. <laughs> 460. That's actually like, isn't that like the exact rank I got last time? Alright, let's see how I did. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Looks like Tejadan died. That's what it means when you're red like that. 42. Damn, incoming numbers. Holy fuck. Top 100. Jesus. Alright. Well. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, I'm done now. Holy shit. That was... I think that was the longest daily. That is the new longest daily. Uh, but let me just... Increment my daily count. I might actually have, like, miscounted. I don't think I have. I think after every single one I've counted up. Uh, so that was the 19th daily, I think. Out of 31 that we need to do. Uh, class dismissed. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go maybe raid somebody. Is anybody streaming? Uh... Should we go raid Desert P? D Desert P, who I know nothing at all about, except that it, they're like a, a mod of Vinny's, I think. Let's go raid Desert P, fuck it. I just saw their name in like the uh, recommended... Desert P! Sorry, I gotta do it right. Desert P! You gotta really roll your R. Desert! Okay. Uh, I don't even know what they're playing. Oh. Yeah, I still don't know what they're playing. Their, their category thym Thymesia exclamation mark gaming exclamation mark VPN. Looks like the game, no, the game is just called Thymesia. Or whatever. Thymesia. Whatever. Let's go raid them. Thanks for watching. Class dismissed. I hope you enjoyed this. I don't know. Uh, I, I love mansplaining. I love just rambling about my interest and this is something I've been doing a lot of Isaac lately so felt good to just sort of like have an outlet for that I guess uh, and I hope you found it entertaining or educational if you thought I was doing a funny bit I hope you thought it was very funny uh, but now we're gonna go raid Desert P uh, there will be a test not actually that'd be pretty messed up uh, I might quiz Lark on like Street Fighter stuff when I uh, <laughs> when we finish that we'll see Okay, uh, see you later, guys.